Colleges and universities across the state are in the process of implementing the campus carry bill, allowing permit holders to conceal carry guns on campuses. Anna Saunders joins us live in the studio, just back from Marshall's Town Hall. Anna, what did you learn? Dave Marshall and West Virginia University leaders made it clear in last year's legislative session they did not want this bill. It passed anyway, so over the past year it's no longer been about opposing it, but preparing for it and now educating as they prepare to put this law into practice. For the past year, Marshall's action learning team has been learning from campus carry states and the implementation team has been crafting policy and procedure, all in anticipation of July 1st. On Tuesday, they presented and answered questions from faculty, staff, and students. I think we're about 80% there. We've got a, you know, a few little boxes to check. Um, some hurdles to jump over, but we're, we're, we're very, very close. Most of the questions centered around the exceptions. There are 11 exceptions to the law. Guns will not be allowed in gatherings of more than a thousand, like athletic events or performances. They also will not be allowed in disciplinary hearings, patient and mental health environments, and hazardous labs. Marshall police say they are also doing research on training methods on how to find the bad guy when multiple people are armed. Obviously, uh, introducing individuals that have weapons uh, into an active shooter type of scenario uh, that aren't the bad guy uh, will, will increase our training, uh, how we'll have to identify and, and move forward with that training. Yes, those are all training aspects of how we'll do that. This law did not come with any sort of funding, so universities are figuring out how to pay for what this law requires, like metal detectors and wands in the no-gun zones, signage, and gun safes for the dorms. Right now, the total price tag is unknown. Uh, we're seeking um, uh, contractors to, to, to give us a bid on X number of safes, and then that's housing is going to manage that to, to basically rent that to, to our students. From here, policy changes will have to be approved by the university, and then physical changes will have to take place. Officials say communication from here to students and staff is the number one priority. The more education that we can educate our students, our staff, our faculty, our campus community in whole, this is what we're doing, this is the laws, and this is how we're going to make it safe for everybody, and this is what we're going to do. Now, Marshall will have another virtual town hall online March 27th at 4 p.m. West Virginia University also in the process of taking public comments on their policies for campus carry. Live in the studio, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News. Thank you for watching, and here's another video to watch from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification for the latest.